Although for many of you, you'll be using Poison as a plugin in a host program. Some of you may want to use Poison in its standalone mode. If you do, there are a few things that you'll need to set up first. You'll have to select the audio interface that you wish to use to output the sound to, and also choose the MIDI controller device that you will use for controlling Poison. When you open Poison in standalone mode, you will have access to some drop down menus. The first option is to choose your audio interface and the type of driver used. If you have one available, it is a good idea to use an ASIO driver, since it will give you the best results when working with Poison in this way. If your audio interface doesn't come with an ASIO driver, then you may have success using the ASIO for all driver that is available for download off the internet. You can also open your audio interface's control panel from here if it is applicable. This will very often allow you to change the sample buffer. The lower this is set, then the more strain that Poison will put on your system. However, if you have the sample buffer set to its highest setting, then there will be a noticeable pause between playing the keyboard and hearing the sound. This will make it quite difficult to play the instrument. However, it is a kind of balancing act when you have to choose which setting works best for your current setup. Lastly, you'll have to select the MIDI interface that you will use to input MIDI notes into Poison. And this is done from these selections shown here. Although we had a quick look at the master controls in an earlier chapter, there are a few sections that I have left out till now. In particular, these controls are to do with MIDI control in Poison. You may have noticed during these videos that when a parameter is changed, the display in this section changes also. It shows what MIDI control has been used and its value. Below this, it also shows which control was last tweaked on the interface. You can link the parameter and the MIDI control that is shown here by clicking the link button. Or alternatively, you can unlink the relationship by clicking on the unlink button. This means you can set up tactile control over Poison from any MIDI controller. As an example, I can link the modulation wheel to the Transgate wet control. Not only allowing me to map the modulation wheel to these destinations, but to other controls as well. This also applies to any other control that sends MIDI messages from your controller. This would, of course, allow you to use Poison very much like a hardware synthesizer. This ends the tutorials that concentrate on Poison's interface, and in the remaining videos, I'll give you a few examples on how to create sounds with Poison.